Hi everybody, Electronics Tech here. I've had a couple of questions from uh, different people about my uh, Dell power supply, how I modified it, and uh, exactly what I did to uh, get it working. So in this video, I'm just going to revisit the Dell Bench power supply and uh, show you what it was exactly I did to uh, get it going. So I've disassembled the uh, power supply out of its case and uh, looking back to what I did there's a bundle of yellow wires that goes into the board this one right here. So I used uh, one yellow wire from this bundle and I cut the rest of them off because I didn't need them. And I put that yellow wire to one side of this uh, 100 ohm power resistor, the load. And the other side of that power resistor goes to a black wire which is ground. On this particular Dell, all black wires are ground. And also to activate the power supply so uh, I can run outside of the uh, computer case. Uh, there's a gray wire and it, the signal is called PS on for power supply on and uh, that's pin 11 if you're looking at uh, a connector the uh, power ATX uh, main power connector it's uh, pin 11 from the wire side view, and uh, but it's a gray wire, so just look for a gray wire. And uh, what I did with that was you short the gray wire to a black wire, which is ground. So you short uh, it'll be uh, pin 11 to ground, and that gives you your uh, power supply on signal which uh, turns the power supply on. In my case I found that that wasn't enough. I needed the uh, power supply on plus I needed uh, a load on it so I put that uh, power resistor between uh, 12 volts and ground. And uh, the way I did it uh, was this uh, power supply on the gray wire. I just uh, wired it so uh, the switch on the front uh, basically shorts the, uh, the gray wire to ground. So I have a gray wire going to the switch and a black wire going to the switch. So all it does is it, it, uh, it creates a uh, open circuit and a short circuit between the, the gray wire and ground the gray wire and the black wire so when I when this switch is on it uh, it connects both the gray wire and the black wire together and that gives the power supply on signal for the power supply telling it that uh, to activate and also I have uh, the yellow side which is 12 volts going to uh, this power resistor and the other side of the power resistor goes to black which is ground. So that simulates a load uh, on the power supply and uh, that turns the power supply on and the fan comes on and uh, everything uh, works the way it would if it were in a actual computer. Um, let's see, what else did I do? Oh yeah, uh, this yellow LED here, there is a 3.3 uh, a volt line. And what I did with that was I just wired it uh, to the 3.3 volt line, which is, uh, let's see here, what pin number is that? Uh, okay. Oh yeah, that's the uh, the blue and the white 
wire. So it's like a, a blue wire with a white stripe is 3.3 volts. So I just uh, put 3.3 uh, volts to uh, an LED I think is all I did. I don't think I had to wire a resistor in series with it. I think the 3.3 volt was uh, good enough. So I put the uh, the blue wire with the white stripe on it to uh, the positive side of the LED which is uh, the anode and uh, the negative side which is the cathode of the LED is uh, going to any any black wire which is ground so that uh, gives the power for the LED and uh, so it acts like a pilot light so when it turns on not only do you see the fan come on but the LED lights to indicate that the power supply is running and that's all basically I did for it it's pretty simple it's just a matter of experimentation uh, I thought I had it I remember at the time when I did this I did this back in uh, 2013 I think October or something and uh, when I did this mod on this power supply and uh, I thought I had it I get it working just by shorting the gray wire and the black wire together for the power supply on signal but for this one I, I found it, it still didn't the fan still didn't come on showing that the power supply was putting out uh, voltage so uh, then I figured out that it needed a, a ground or not a ground it needed a load so that's why I, I put this power resistor in uh, in line with the 12 volts and uh, I think this uh, power supply is actually a 200 watt it's a 200 watt on the uh, the 12 volt and it's uh, 135 watt on the uh, 5 volt and the 3.3 volt but uh, I also I have for this I didn't have banana jacks I just had uh, a wire coming out because as I said I use it for my electrolysis machine and I just have the 12 volts going to these uh, banana or not banana these uh, alligator clips and uh, but it's easy enough just to drill into the side here I think I put it in the side because that's about the only place on this power supply I can see that you can actually uh, put banana jacks in here I put it on the side probably uh, uh, probably had two sets uh, one set for uh, 12 volts and one set for 5 volts and just wire them in that way and uh, for a bench supply I might do that later I just uh, I just have 12 volts coming out from into this wire here so but it works works well and uh, I use it for my electrolysis machine which is just uh, to uh, just a steel plate and uh, like two uh, steel plates in uh, a tank with uh, water and uh, I think it's salt or something I put in there but anyway so that's all there is to it it's pretty simple and uh, if you're going to work on a power supply just uh, make sure you take the proper precautions don't uh, poke around in it when it's uh, running if you get it running because uh, it's got lethal voltage on here this capacitor here it's rated for 200 volts it's uh, this one here so you don't want to fry yourself doing your mods so uh, be safe and uh, Hope everything uh, goes well for your mods. That's it. Bye.